right leg is missing. It looks like its owner left the game and took this leg with him. In real life, I would be very scared to enter this house. And this body looks very cool, but I think our body is the coolest. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends, and today we lost all parts of our body. We urgently need to find all our other parts. Let's look. Maybe they are somewhere nearby? Wait, have we seriously lost our arms and legs and torso? Okay, here's some hand. Ooh, looks like this guy beat us to it. But it looks a lot like our hand. Here lies our torso and someone's leg. Okay, let's take our torso, but the leg doesn't belong to us. Well, I think it would be better to look for your leg here. Let's explore the beach. Perhaps there will be some part of our body on it. I can already see for sure that there is someone's hand here. Let's take this hand. In any case, we can use it before anyone comes for it. In this case, we can also take this leg to move faster. I think we can find the owners of these body parts, and in this case, we will give it to them. Look! This funny guy decided to take a swim in the pool. Okay, let's not disturb him and go to the next location where we will look for other body parts. There's another hand here. It's just the right hand. We don't have one like this yet. I think we can take it and use it temporarily. Looks like a tornado is approaching. Let's take refuge in this house. Maybe in it we can find some other body part for us. Need to look more carefully. I don't think this banana body will suit us. Moreover, we already have our torsos. It would be great if we found the left leg in this house. It looks like the left leg is not here either. At least in this bathroom, I definitely don't see anything that looks like a body part. Okay, let's wait out the tornado here. I think it's too early for us to leave this house. I wonder if we will be informed when the tornado ends. I don't want to sit in this house forever. I still need to find the rest of the body parts that I'm missing. We didn't want to let this guy into the house, but since he's also hiding from the tornado, I think we can let him in. Now let's watch when this tornado ends. This tornado is really huge. It seems to me that if we got into it, we would again lose all the body parts that we found during this time. Well, now we can come out of hiding and continue to look for the missing parts of our body. I guess now we need to explore this opulent two-story house. By the way, why not hide in it from the tornado? I think that would be much better. And this body looks very cool, but I think our body is the coolest. By the way, look, and here is our hand. Okay, we have already found two body parts that really belong to us. Now we need to find two legs and one arm. I hope they will be in this house. I'm actually very interested in why you decided to tell us about this in a whisper, but okay. Let's just get busy finding our feet. It looks like there are no more body parts in this house that could belong to us. Okay, this house has been fully explored. And now let's look for our limbs in other locations. We actually made some pretty good progress. In three minutes, we found two of our five limbs. And now, let's go into this abandoned house with boarded up windows. In real life, I would be very scared to enter this house because it is clearly in disrepair and something could collapse in it. There's someone's hand lying here, but it definitely doesn't look like ours. Okay, there are someone's legs on the second floor, but unfortunately both of these legs are right. But we already have a right leg. But this is the left leg. Great, let's take it, and we will finally become a full-fledged Roblox person. But we still need to find our body parts. Let's explore this forest and the entire location around it. It seems to me that our legs and hands should be somewhere nearby. It looks like there are no limbs near this fire. Okay, then we should go back to spawn because here we have explored everything possible. In fact, I really hope that no one else picked up our leg or arm somewhere because in that case, it will be much more difficult to find them. I remember that there was some kind of cave near the spawn. We definitely need to explore it. And here is that same cave. There are someone's bodies lying next to her. But we are only interested in arms or legs. And so far, unfortunately, our arms and legs are not visible nearby. It looks like we won't be able to find what we're looking for in this cave either. Okay, let's find a way out of here and try to look for our legs somewhere nearby. We can climb up this rope! Wow, there really are a lot of locations here. 
Okay, we're on some mountain, and we found someone's left hand. I think we can take this hand instead of the one we have now. I think this hand suits us better. At least it looks like our right hand, but it is a little different in color. Well, I propose to cross this bridge to another mountain and try to look for our legs there. I can already see that there are no limbs on her. Okay, let's go downstairs and explore another location. Oh no, looks like Blizzard is coming. We need to find shelter. Look, it looks like our leg is there. Let's run and take it. And I'm absolutely sure that this is our leg. I recognize her among all the other legs. Look, and there is also our second hand. Great, we only have one leg left to find. Our right leg is missing. It looks like its owner left the game and took this leg with him. Okay, we need to explore locations we haven't been to yet. All we have to do is find our second leg. Where could she be? We received an award for surviving Blizzard. But to be honest, I didn't even see it. Okay, I suggest we go to that Sacra Forest. Maybe our foot will be there. Wait, I see something there near the mountain. Look closely. It looks a lot like our foot. Let's come closer and take a look. Could it be her? It's definitely her. I recognize our leg from a thousand other legs. Cool. We collected our body and received a reward for this. Great. We got through it pretty quickly. It usually takes other players much longer. We completed this game so quickly only because we were lucky that none of the players wanted to pick up our limbs. They may not be as cool, but thanks to this, we were able to assemble our body. I really like this game. It's really very interesting because I love games where you have to look for objects. Now let's move on to the next game. Even Plankton is here. His look is very creepy. Looks like it's a little stuck. Let's give him the right direction to move. Hello everyone, my friends. And today we will escape from SpongeBob's prison. Wow! We found ourselves in a room that was exactly like his room at the very beginning. It's a shame that they decided to copy this map from the first version of Barry's Prison Break. By the way, even Plankton is here. He's very lucky that we didn't crush him because he's very small. Well, I think that we had a very good experience in completing a really difficult escape from Barry's Prison, and I hope that we can cope with this map much faster. I think I can definitely do it in record time. Let's see the first boss, and it's SpongeBob. Mm. He looks a lot like his real self. By the way, in this location, bubbles come out directly from the ground, and because of this, it feels like we are really deep in the ocean. Looks like it's a little stuck. Let's give him the right direction to move. Great! Now he's running right behind us, but he still can't catch us. Okay, now let's climb these pipes, run forward along them, and find ourselves in a room with toilets. The design of this game is really very similar to what we saw in the cartoon. All the textures here are really chosen very cool. Yes, I really like the design here, too. Let's go downstairs and look at the toilet room. Wow! It is made in the shape of crab paint. There was even a table that was in the cartoon. This dungeon looks pretty weird. I don't remember at all that there was anything ice in the world of SpongeBob. Where does the ice on the ocean floor come from? I can't answer this question, but I really like the design here. I really like this blue glow. They really did it very cool. And now we have to jump on these crab burgers to get to the corridor with the rolling boulder. But this is a really very interesting detail. Usually, map developers don't add anything here. But specifically in this map, the developers decided to replace the platforms with Krabby Patties. It really looks a lot like the Krabby Patties from the cartoon. And they also added sand here and bubbles. And it really seems to me as if we are underwater. It's good that it's actually not like that. Otherwise, it would be simply impossible to walk here. And here comes the next boss. It's Patrick. But what about his hands? Why do they levitate separately from his body? His look is very creepy, and he is running right after us. But it seems to me that our gait is rather strange. Yes. It looked like we weren't trying to escape from him, but we're sneaking around so he wouldn't hear us. It even seemed to me a little that this affects the speed of our movement because we are really moving somehow too slowly. This wall print is very similar to SpongeBob's house wall print, 
There's a lot of attention to detail here because usually map creators just repaint them a different color or something like that. They added plankton even here. And in addition to plankton, there is a pineapple here. It would be very funny if it had doors and windows like in SpongeBob's house. Okay, now let's run this race with an energy drink. They repainted the platforms here yellow and blue. It reminds me of some country's flag. But I can't figure out which one. Guys, write in the comments what country's flag these colors look like. And now we will find ourselves in a location where we need to put a ladder under the ventilation. Here, too. Everything is done in the same color scheme, and I really like it. Okay. We took the ladder, and now let's put it under the ventilation. I really hope Bluey can do it the first time. But I think that I shouldn't even doubt it, because she's already a professional in this. Don't even doubt it. I already have my own tactics on how to jump onto this ladder correctly. I did it the first time, and it wasn't even difficult for me. Now let's do this bridge and fan test. It's only been 248 seconds, and we've already gone quite a long way. I think that this time we can really try to set another record in this game. I think it's pointless for us to try to set new records because we complete this game in an average of 500 seconds. It's even faster than some speedrunners. Well, now let's go through this tedious task with the valves. I am constantly surprised that the developers do not change this task in any way. When we played Barry's Prison Escape 2 there, this task was changed. Very cool. And now that we're back and playing it again here, I'm almost sick of this task. Unfortunately, we can't miss it, but I've already turned three valves, and now let's go upstairs and move on. I also want to quickly leave this location and start a race with fans. Yes, I completely agree with you. This task is starting to piss me off too, but when we went through it in Barry's Prison Break 2, there were a lot of ways to go through it. Moreover, this could be done using different routes. There we could still earn coins. Now let's go through this race with fans. It's good that here they left a large distance between the platforms and not like it was in Pomni Prison Break where the platforms were very close to each other and we didn't even need to press the jump button to go through them. Yes, this task was a little difficult but nevertheless we completed it. Now we are going up these stairs and we need to make a jump in the wind tunnel. Great, Bluey got it right on her first try again. Well done, Bluey. I'm very interested in who will be the next boss. Let's go downstairs and take a look. Look, it's Squidward. <gasps> this is very strange because in the SpongeBob cartoon, the cook was SpongeBob himself. Yes, I'm surprised to see him here too. I expected to see anyone, even Plankton, but not Squidward. Anyway, it's better than the standard boss cook from Prison Break Barry. I think we can deal with him quickly and move on to the next missions. Is he stuck in this table? Buddy, you've been working here for many years, and you never learned to walk between these tables? Okay, thanks to this, we killed him much faster. Now let's go to this hill. They replaced the textures, even in this task. Usually no one does this, but the developers of this map decided to add iron plates here. Well, I really like how responsibly they approached the creation of this game. I completely agree with you. In this game, a lot of models and textures have been changed. They even rearranged some of the objects in the locations, and it looks really cool. But unfortunately, they couldn't please you, and they didn't change the colors of these lasers. Well, I guess that's not the saddest thing in this game. We only have to fly through two lasers, and we will find ourselves at the very top. I'm very interested in who will be the final boss in this game because we've already seen three characters from SpongeBob here. Imagine how funny it would be if the final boss was Mr. Krabs or Plankton. I think we'll find out very soon. Now we need to pass the bridge test using our life hack. It seems to me that Bluey passes these tests faster and faster every time, but it seems to me that it's not worth wasting time throwing this bridge down. And here he is the final boss of Cyber Spongebob, who is also stuck in one place. Oh my god, seriously? I thought this game was perfect in every way, but why didn't they try to make the final boss at least move? His last hand doesn't even explode, and when it runs out of HP, it just keeps shooting in different directions. This is very strange, but it's good that the shells from this hand don't hit us and don't cause us damage. 
Great! We easily defeated this Cyber SpongeBob, and we are off to the next game. Everything in this game was cool except the last boss. I hope that the next game will not disappoint us as much as this one. Do you really want to throw a piece of paper at him? Did he really fall after we threw the piece of paper at him? Let's check if our wrenches work against other players. Looks like they are working. Great! He fell! Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from Barry Prison Part 2. The second part? Seriously? I really hope that they didn't just improve the graphics here. They actually added new challenges to this game. There are some coins here. Wait, what? Now we can buy things with coins? No way! Don't tell me that we can grab objects and throw them here. This is just great! It looks like a really interesting Barry Prison Escape is ahead of us. Finally, this game has been diversified a little. And now we will play something new. Did they decide to add a valve at the very beginning of the game? Is this to troll us? This task is already familiar to us. These are the very platforms that appear after we press the button. And now we will have to find ourselves in the location with the first boss. It looks like we can only open this door with this wrench. Wait, they told us in the instructions that we can use it as a weapon. They seriously won't take it away from us? Look, there's a half-eaten donut lying next to the trash can. I think we can throw it right at Barry. Hey, it looks like it didn't reach him. Now we need to press the button and... Oh no, he caught us. Okay, this boss is more difficult than in the first part. Let's try to throw something else at him. Do you really want to throw a piece of paper at him? It seems to me that she does not cause him any damage. Did he really fall after we threw the piece of paper at him? To be honest, I'm a little surprised. I didn't think that such a fat guy could be knocked to the floor with one piece of paper. This task remains unchanged. Now we will go through these pipes, go into the ventilation, and find ourselves in a room with toilets. Looks like they renovated this room. Just look! It has become so bright here and there are a lot of coins around. You can even get toilet paper here. This is very cool. Well, let's jump into this hole and end up in Abby's dungeon. I'm very interested in how they changed it. Look, there are huge corridors here. Wait, what? Do we need to fight against zombies with our wrench? Wow, this is a very cool mechanic. Let's check if our wrenches work against other players. Looks like they are working. Great. I love it. This zombie has two hearts. We can use the super punch with the R button. By the way, they give us coins for killing zombies. This is also very cool. There are also heels that are scattered throughout the location. Now we are approaching the next test. And judging by the sounds, it will be a task in which we will run along the corridor with a huge rolling boulder. They even added a door that opens with a lever. Cool. There really are a lot of innovations in this corridor. They also added some arrows that fly out of the wall. What's going on in this game? I'm really surprised at how much they improved Barry's prison break. Remember I recently said that Escape from the New Pomney's Prison is my best game? So forget what I told you. This game is now my favorite in Roblox. It seems to me that for this reason, I will even download Roblox to my phone and play it at work. The main thing is, don't play Roblox while driving. You can't do that. Just look at this boulder. Is it just me, or has it become very detailed here? I really like the way it looks and the way they made the corridor here. I'm now very interested in two questions. The first is, who will be the boss knight? And the second question is whether the task with the valves was removed from this game. I think the boss knight will be the boss knight himself. This is quite logical, because this is the most ordinary Barry prison escape. And here he is! They gave him a huge sword here! Wait, did he have a health indicator? Does this mean we can fight against him? And here is the same lever that needs to be turned in order for the door to open? Oh my god! Here he comes! It looks like this boss will fight us, but we can just run away from him! I think he's about to catch us! Oh no! He's actually damaging us instead of catching us. Bluey, I think you shouldn't concentrate on the coins and you shouldn't fight him because he does a lot of damage. I think it would be easier to just run away from him. Great, we did it. And now let's move on. It seems to me that this game will be very long because in four minutes we only went to the knight's boss room. It seems to me that we will go through all the tests in this game for a very long time. 
But it's cool, and I really like it. It seems to me that you shouldn't try to keep up in such dangerous places in order to earn all the coins. Otherwise, we can spend a lot of time completing this game completely. I completely agree with you, but it seems to me that it can be useful for us to collect all the coins. Because for them, we can buy something interesting. Now let's find out how much the race with energy drinks has changed. I hope he remains as cool. We have limited time to pass through this location, and this means that we cannot linger in some places for a long time. They even added lasers and platforms with which we jump. This is very cool. I like the way they changed this race. It really has become a little more complex, and I can feel it. But I really like the fact that finally this task has become really a little hardcore for us. Well, now let's move on. It seems to me that there should be another test ahead of us. Look, there are a lot of coins in this closet. Now we will have the opportunity to buy something. This is some new challenge. I don't remember this. Is this the same building with the stairs? Wait a minute. What's Barry doing here? We need to find a ladder to get into this ventilation. But at this moment, Barry will interfere with us. Finally, this task has become a little more interesting. This room is now locked with a lock. Wow, they really made this challenge more hardcore. Well, let's take this ladder quickly and escape from here. I think we can throw various objects at Barry. Great, he fell. Now we have time to move this ladder and place it directly under the ventilation. Cool. Now, there is no time to waste, and we need to quickly run and put up this ladder. I'm scared because Barry is constantly running after us and trying to catch us. We finally escaped from him. This is the same task with the fan, and it seems to me that it really started to blow a little harder because we are being carried more and more to the side. But this means that the same task with the valves awaits us ahead. I really hope that the creators of this map watch our videos and they at least changed it a little. They added a huge rotating bridge. Wow, this has never happened before. This is really very cool. I really like what they did. And here is the task with the valves, and they really changed their location. Now, searching for these valves will be much more interesting. So the first valve is ready. Great, let's now go further and find the other two. I really hope they are somewhere close to us. And here is the second valve. It turns out he was very close. Well, let's go to the third valve and finally finish this task. Even though the creators of the map changed it, I still continue to hate it because it was very boring in the first part of this game. I really like the fact that they added interaction with objects in this game because it's really something new. And now we are waiting for a race with fans and just look, they added lasers here. It's very cool. And now we are going through this air tunnel to the wind tunnel. Wow! They actually left the previous tasks, but changed them so that they are now impossible to recognize. And now we will fight against the chef boss. Did you really decide to take the potato in order to use it to fight him? Look, we were able to take away one health unit from him. Now let's take this bazooka and start shooting at him. Seriously? They added a laser sight to this bazooka and increased the rate of fire. We dealt with this boss cook in a matter of seconds, and now let's move on. Okay, this looks like the door before the final boss. In order to open it, you need to destroy the camera. Cool! We did it, and now we're going to fight him. They changed his model a little, but still left the concept that we need to shoot into his hands. Now, in addition to the fact that he shoots at us, he also jumps and electric waves emanate from him. This boss is harder to kill, even though we have a laser sight. Look, he also fires missiles from his back. They really made it very difficult to defeat him. This game has really become much more difficult, but because of this, I like it even more. Great. We're done with one of his arms, and now we need to shoot the other. But this is very difficult to do because he constantly jumps. I really like this game, even though it has become as difficult as possible. Great! You beat him, Bluey! Well done! Now let's get in this car and head straight to the next game. If you like this game, be sure to like this video and write about it in the comments, and we will go through it with you again. Hooray! We got a Shiba Inu! This is the rarest pet! And the passage took us a whole hour! God! Looks like this guy is trying really hard. Hello, my friend. We also passed this test. Oh, it seems to me that you slightly failed to cope with him. 
Hello, everyone, dear friends, and today we... Oh, wait, what's going on with my neck? I think it's getting longer every second. Yeah, I think you're starting to look like a giraffe or something. Okay, let's see what we can do with this superpower. Just look at these guys next to us. One of them has a neck length that doesn't even fit on the screen. Oh, my God, I look like a giraffe. I think we need to try to pass this, Obby. I'm very interested in what we will get for completing it completely. Wow, you can shorten your neck and jump with this. Cool. I think this obby will be quite difficult, but I think we will be able to pass it. Oh my god! I think it will be very difficult. Here you don't just need to jump, but watch the length of your neck. I think this is a very difficult task. So far we're doing pretty well. It's very strange that all this time our neck continues to grow. Wow, how did you do that jump? I think this is very difficult. It's actually not that difficult. Just press the jump button and the letter R to make my neck shorten. It seems to me that I would still not be able to figure it out. It's great that you make it so easy. Now let's take the next test. There's water here. Okay, I think we can just walk through here. But no, it turns out that we are suffocating in the water. Well, I think we should try to pass this test later and now find something easier for us. This test looks pretty easy. Well, let's try to pass it. It seems to me that it is not as simple as it might seem at first glance. There is water here, too. The main thing for me is not to forget that you can't put your head in the water. Cool, you're doing pretty well. Let's move forward. I hope we can jump over this huge thing. I think it will be quite difficult, but I think Bluey will succeed. Great! We didn't die because we didn't touch that red thing. And here we will need to wait a bit until our neck grows to 45 studs. Well, let's fast forward this moment. Great, our neck has reached the desired size and now we can finally pass this test. Wait, what? 52 studs? Oh my god. Okay, one more rewind. Oh my god! Finally, I thought this would last forever. Well, now let's finally put an end to this long ordeal. Need to take one more leap. Cool, we did it. And now we will get the trophy and something else. Cool. We were given victory points. Wait, what? Took the entire length of our necks away from us? So you want to say that we waited all this time just for this? Oh my god. We really sat and waited all this time for our neck to lengthen just to get victory points? Seriously. Okay, we definitely need to find something to spend it on. Now let's try this giant ladder challenge. It seems to me that our neck is not yet big enough for us to reach the very top. It seems to me that here we will also have to wait for an eternity so that we can get to the top. It seems to me that if our neck length had been preserved, we would have been able to get there very quickly. But unfortunately, we lost it in the last test, and now it seems to me that we will really spend forever getting to the very top. I don't think we should stand here and wait for our necks to grow. Let's better try to pass that obby that we weren't able to pass before. It seems to me that we already have enough skill to pass it completely. Okay, we're at the very beginning of the test. Concentrate as much as you can, Bluey. I really hope that you will be able to pass this test completely. The main thing to remember is that we cannot let our heads fall into the water, otherwise we will lose. I think I can deal with these jumps easily. We've already gone through them before, and I think it won't be too difficult for you. Moreover, the length of our neck is already long enough to perform these jumps. We have reached the most difficult task. Okay, here you need to adjust the length of the neck in order to walk perfectly straight. Well done, Bluey. You are doing very cool. Do not stop. It was very exciting, but you passed this test. Now you need to perform a neat jump using your neck. Cool. The main thing is not to relax and focus as much as possible on not touching the red platforms. I don't think I've ever tried so hard to pass, Obby. Wait, what? Do I really need to take this huge leap? But there are some platforms down there. Maybe I need to go down on them. Oh my god! I can't even imagine how you can jump over this abyss! I think this is very difficult! Watch out, Bluey! You need to go down to these translucent platforms and try to jump while standing on them. I'm sure you can handle it. Come on, Bluey! Great! You did a double jump! Cool! We got the giraffe egg and this trophy, and they didn't even take away the length of our neck. It's great. 
The length of our neck is already 141 studs. This is a very big indicator. I think now we can definitely climb this giant staircase. Let's go to her. Okay, we're here. I think we can jump over several steps at once. Cool. We found ourselves immediately at the green level and now at the blue level. I do it very quickly. And now this test doesn't look as difficult as it initially seemed. We got it done on the first try. Great. Let's get another egg and a trophy. They gave us 10 wins. And what else will we get for passing this test? Cool! We were given two more victories and a 43 second bonus to neck growth speed. We have the opportunity to have pets, but where can we get them? Unfortunately, the length of our entire neck was taken away from us, and now we definitely need to find some more interesting challenge here. Look, in this challenge we can get a giraffe and increase the growth rate of our neck. But for this, we need to go through some kind of obby. I'm a pro at obby, and I think we can go there. Oh my god. It seems to me that this is the most gigantic obby we have played in. We have already passed the first stage, and we have not even passed 1%. Oh my god. I think it will take a very long time. Two stages and only 1%. This means that there are at least 200 stages. I think we'll have to use rewind again. And while we're going through this obby, Guys, please write your favorite game in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. We try very hard to make videos for you. When we started going through this obby, we didn't think it would take so much time, but we really tried to get through it for you. And the passage took us a whole hour. God, during this time, I would have managed to watch half of a movie, but instead I was sweating and hoping that we would get through this obby to the end. I really hope that our reward will really be worth it because all these Wonder Nine stages were just hell. It seems to me that we are definitely ready to go through the Tower of Hell. I think now we can use this magic carpet to prevent anyone from passing this test. Just imagine how angry this person will become. Looks like this guy is trying really hard. I wonder how he will cope if we slightly increase the difficulty level for him. Hello, my friend. We also passed this test. Oh, it seems to me that you slightly failed to cope with him. I think this is too cruel, guys. We spent a lot of effort on getting you through this level and no one bothered us. So let's stop disturbing this guy and head back to the starting location. So what did we get for passing? Just look, I have two exclusive giraffe pets. Cool. Now my neck will grow much faster. Yes, our neck growth rate has increased by 0.7 studs. Cool. Now we need to find where we can spend our victory points. With these points, we can buy pet eggs. Let's spend all our points. I really hope that we get the rarest Shiba Inu. In the first egg, we found a long-necked dog. Well, let's keep opening. Cool. In the next egg, we got a rat. The rat, of course, is a little more rare, but nevertheless, this is not why we came here. Let's try to get a Shiba Inu. Now we have a cat. I think we shouldn't stop opening and let's continue. And so another egg. Let's see. Hooray! We got a Shiba Inu. This is the rarest pet. The chance of getting it was only 1.5%. I actually really like this game. Let's equip this pet. And now our neck will grow much faster. Now is the time to move on to the next game. What is this anyway? It looks like crab claws or something. This is Anna's skin. Let's put it on. Oh, it seems to me that we are not quite like her. Oh my god, this is the best skin in this game. Oh look, these are capybaras in the pond. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Obby Frozen. Here you need to buy skins for money. I think it's very expensive. Let's see, maybe there is an opportunity to get some skin for free. This is Anna's skin. Let's put it on. Oh, it seems to me that we are not quite like her. I think I see the best skin here. Dad will definitely like him. Is this Olaf? Oh my god, this is the best skin in this game. Just look at how funny he moves his arms when he walks. Okay, I think with this skin we can start playing Obby. You just need to understand where the beginning is. And here it is. Great. Well, let's start going through it. It seems to me that the first task is quite easy. Yes, it seems to me that this whole game will be easy. Now let's go through this Obby with flowers. Wait, what? It turns out we were not allowed to stand on this flower floor. We need to jump on these flowers. Wait, is it just me? Or is this the first obby where the main obstacle isn't lava or acid? Yes, I was surprised too when I realized this. Oh look, these are capybaras in the pond. Okay, looks like we need to take the right route here. But this task already looks quite difficult because there are a lot of capybaras here. 
and we will have to really guess the optimal route. Well, okay. Now we know that first, you need to jump on the first one, then on the second one, and after that on the third capybara. And in general, it's quite strange that there are capybaras here, because I don't remember them being in the cartoon. Oh look! I passed this obby. And now we have to jump on these donkeys. Good thing we don't have to choose the right route here. Yes, it seems to me that the last test was quite hardcore, but it trains your memory very well. Well, this test with donkeys was quite simple. And now, um, what? We need to jump onto these strange sun loungers that for some reason are suspended here. Sand and sun loungers? I think this is quite a summer theme. I don't understand how it can be connected with Elsa. Maybe she actually loves all this very much. But in the cartoon, she just doesn't talk about it. There are also jet skis here. Are we in Barry's water prison escape? Okay, let's just jump over them and move on. In general, this seems really quite strange to me. Here in the next test is a pool with a lot of inflatable balls. It looks like some kind of water park in the winter or something like that. Now I understand why we are here alone, because no sane person would go to a water park in winter. There's simply nothing to do there at this time of year. Now we need to cross this rather strange bridge in the water. Well, this test is also quite easy. But then we need to jump on these small palm trees through this sand. It feels like we're a giant jumping through trees. It doesn't really look like palm trees at all. It looks more like some kind of flowers or something like that. Although it is quite strange that flowers grow in sand. Usually only cacti grow in sand. Now we need to go through these... Um, what is this anyway? It looks like some kind of rake or something similar to it. I do not know what is this. Now we need to jump on these strange pyramids in the water. Oh, it seems to me that this is not such an easy test as it might seem at first glance. It's even unusual to see Bluey lose. Is this test really that hard? It seems to me that the distance between these inflatable pyramids is quite large. That's why she doesn't always manage to jump on them the first time. But it looks like she managed to get through it. And now let's jump on these inflatable rings that float in the pool. It really seems very strange to me that everything here is done in a summer style. Perhaps the developers of this map simply unscrupulously copied someone else's obby and put a snow texture around it. In any case, these are both quite interesting because there are really very difficult tests in which sometimes even you have difficulties. I like this game very much. There are some inflatable slides in the pool. It seems to me that this is really a very summer game. I already have a desire to be in the pool now in the heat. There is just over a month left until summer, and so I think that very soon you will be able to find yourself in the pool. Now, let's concentrate on completing this game. It looks like several palm trees have fallen here. Maybe there was a storm here? This is quite possible because I don't see any other logical reason for these trees to fall. And now we need to jump across these strange platforms. In fact, I really like that the developers of this game didn't add acid or lava here because I'm already pretty tired of them. Yes, I completely agree with you. Now we need to go through this incomprehensible rake again, and then a bridge in the water awaits us ahead. That wooden bridge again? We've already been through the same thing. Well, I think this is the easiest test in this game. Let's get through it quickly. We are already at the 17th stage. I wonder how many of them there are in total. By the way, there is finally some kind of winter theme here, because now, we were jumping on ice cream. These strange things we are walking on now really infuriate me. I still can't figure out what it is. It looks a lot like a rake, but I have no idea what it actually is. Okay, now let's go over these yellow palm trees. Yellow palms. Such things do not even exist in nature. Look, more yellow palm trees. I think there are too many of these trees in this game. Why didn't they use something else? For example, Christmas trees. What is this anyway? It looks like crab claws or something. It seems to me that the developers of this game have a very strange fantasy. Okay, we're already at stage 22 and we're really going through this game very quickly. Looks like the real challenge in this game is over. I'm very interested to know how many stages there are in this game. 
because so far we're getting through it pretty quickly. Look, Bluey is a little stuck. She couldn't jump on that red jet ski. Good thing he's behind now. Okay, now we need to jump on these rocks to get to the other end of this pond. I think this task will not be very difficult. You've already completed more than half of this test. There are only a few jumps left. Great! Now let's jump on those green platforms. It seems to me that these tasks are the easiest. Looks like this is the end of this game, but for some reason it doesn't teleport us back and some error appears. Well, let's move on to the next game. This is a huge robot dog 9000! This milk gives us super energy and burning legs. By the way, look! Ben again, and this time his eyes are burning. Just look! It's Talking Tom the Cat with a Club! Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today we will run away from the house of the evil dog. Watch out, Bluey. But it doesn't matter. This guy is still sleeping. By the way, I know what kind of dog this is. This is a friend of Talking Tom the Cat. Yes, exactly. It's him. True, I forgot a little what his name is. Maybe Bean or Bard? I do not remember exactly. Ben. Guys, his name is Ben. Try to be respectful of other people's names. Exactly! Ben and I completely forgot his name. I remember him from the iShow Speed videos where he barked at him into the phone. Yes, exactly. These videos are very funny. I really like the way this guy reacted to this dog. By the way, look! It's the same bridge challenge as in Barry's Prison Break. I think here we can use the same life hack and use only one board. It seems to me that with the help of this life hack, we can complete this game very quickly. This is very cool. I think this game reminds me of some other Roblox mode, but I can't figure out which one. I'm pretty sure this isn't Barry's Prison Break. It seems to me that several other modes will be mixed in this mode. Look, it's a spiral staircase with pipes. We have already seen such a task in the Papa Pizza Pizzeria and in the Carnival of Terror. Exactly. This is where this task comes from. I remember that we have already encountered him. Well, now we'll come down from this ventilation and just look. It's Talking Tom the Cat with a club. By the way, this location is very similar to the location from Escape from Betty. This cat Tom looks too aggressive. It's good that he's stupid enough to get stuck in the wall and not catch up with us. Is he really stuck in the wall? Well, it seems that this cat has not sharpened his cat sense, and he has not learned to navigate in space. Let's now escape from him through this ventilation. I wonder what task we will see in the next place. I already really like this game because it contains quite interesting tasks. Yes, I really like this game too. Oh, just look. This is a mission that involved escaping from a family of cops. Well, let's jump down and move on. We can click on something in the wall? Looks like it was just a bug. Okay, let's open the door and find ourselves in the next room. Again, a location where you need to climb up the ventilation pipe? Well, okay, it seems that there are some problems with the imagination of the developers. But I hope that we won't have to go through such locations so often because they are quite boring. I think we'll find out after we go through this ventilation. Let's do it! Oh, just look. This is exactly the test that was in Escaping from Betty. I remembered him. It was definitely there. Well, this task is not so boring. There is really quite difficult parkour here. But I think that we can pass it with ease because we have already passed it several times. I think we can have no doubt that Bluey will be able to do it the first time because she is a real professional in completing parkour. I haven't seen her lose in such easy tests for a long time. That's for sure. But I think that you should not praise me so much. Because of this, I can relax a little and allow myself to make a few stupid mistakes. The most difficult part of this parkour is behind you, so you definitely won't make any mistakes. Now let's climb into this ventilation and see what tests the developers have prepared for us next. Bridges again? Seriously? Remember what I said that they have problems with imagination? So I'm ready to repeat this again. It seems to me that this task with bridges was unnecessary. It was enough to add some kind of obby with lasers or something like that. It seems to me that your love for lasers is too unhealthy. This task was also pretty good, even though they weren't there. By the way, look, Ben again, and this time his eyes are burning. He finally woke up and is running after us, but he definitely won't be able to catch up with us. I hope he doesn't know how to climb pipes. 
Unfortunately, no. Why did he really give up so easily? Okay, thanks to this, we will escape from him into the ventilation as soon as possible and find ourselves in the next location. I actually really like this game. Wait, what? Did we really fall down the stairs and hit our heads on the closet? I hope that everything is fine with us and that we haven't lost a single unit of health. It seems to me that after this, there should definitely be a concussion. Well, let's now pass these tests. Oh, just look. These are the trampolines on which we have to jump. But I think these trampolines are too bad because they allow us to jump very high. I didn't think that this test seemed so difficult for Bluey, but just look. The second time she coped with this test perfectly. Well, and now we are going to another ventilation. I think there are too many vents in this game. I noticed this too. It seems to me that this game should be called Escape Through a Thousand Ventilations instead of Evil Dog's House. I remember a similar test was in the escape from a women's prison. But down there at the bottom of this location, a female robot cop was still patrolling the area. Another ventilation? Lord, how much can you do? Oh, look. This is vending with some super milk. This milk gives us super energy and burning legs. And now we will undergo tests similar to the energy drink test in Barry's prison break. I really like the burning legs effect we got. Because of this, it really seems as if we are moving at super speed. This test is very similar to what we went through in Escape from Betty. And I think we are now very close to the final boss. I wonder who it will be. I think it would be very logical if the final boss is Ben, because the game is called Escape from the Evil Dog, isn't it? This sounds quite logical. Well, now we will climb up this wind tunnel and find out. This climb is too long. They didn't even add lasers. It seems to me that if they were here, Dad would be very pleased. Here's the next room. Well, this is the room in front of the boss, and now we will find out who it is. This is a huge robot dog 9000! Oh, it seems to me that we are throwing some kind of red glowing sticks at him that are flying very slowly. Everything here looks like it's in slow motion. I'm talking about the flight of projectiles and the movement of this robot dog. Looks like we're doing 80 damage to him with every shot. This means we only have a couple of shots left. Great. I defeated him with ease. It seems to me that this was one of the easiest bosses in games. He didn't even try to attack me. And now we will escape from here on this huge red ATV. I wonder why they decided to make his model so huge. It's too big for us and we won't even be able to control it. And we left here. Great. By the way, we completed this game in just 419 seconds, which seems very fast to me. We might even be on the record table. But unfortunately, she is not in this game. I think that no one handled this game faster than us. Well. Now let's move on to the next game. It looks like this turtle is not a ninja turtle at all because she doesn't have enough speed to catch us. It's Donatello. It's strange that Donatello is holding a torch and not a stick because a stick is a more familiar weapon for him. I think we can order pizza without his help. For now, let's just concentrate on hitting him right in the head. Looks like we're going to be without ice cream today because the final boss is Leonardo. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles prison. We already see Raphael. Well, this will be the first boss we will meet. Now let's go through the first tests. I absolutely love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. I watch this cartoon every day. I hope that all four bosses here will be in the form of different Ninja Turtles. It would be amazing. My favorite Ninja Turtle was Michelangelo, because she was very funny and loved pizza as much as I love it. And I really love Donatello because he fights with a staff, and it seems to me that this is the most powerful weapon of all. And here comes Raphael. I wonder why they decided to leave the club in his hand instead of giving him the says he had. I'm also interested in this question. <gasps> It would be really cool if they actually gave him the weapon he had. It looks like this turtle is not a ninja turtle at all, because she doesn't have enough speed to catch us. Maybe they bought too much pizza for their pizza party, and then they got really fat and started farting a lot. Maybe you're right, because this Raphael was too fat. Well, now we'll end up in a room with toilets after we cross this iron bridge. I really think it's weird that they decided to make the ninja turtles as prison guards in this game because they've always been superheroes. And an even stranger is that we are now going to the Obby Dungeon through the toilet. In general, we should end up in the sewers where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live. 
But they changed the design of this dungeon very coolly. It really looks like it's a sewer that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live in. Red puddles on the red bridge? Looks like there was a very brutal fight here. Let's quickly pass by it and go forward. It would be very cool if we saw Teacher Splinter or Shredder here. I would be very happy if we fought the Shredder as the final boss. I think she should hope so, because this is the prison of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This means that all the guards here will be the turtles themselves. Do you remember that April O'Neil was also there? It would be cool to meet her here, too. She is a very cool character because she constantly helped the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't you get tired of saying their names in full? Okay, let's go upstairs and see who the next boss will be. It's Donatello. It's strange that Donatello is holding a torch and not a stick because a stick is a more familiar weapon for him. What stick are you talking about? He always fought with a staff. But his torch has a purple flame that matches the color of his headband. It seems to me that if he had a staff in his hands, we would not be able to escape from him so easily. But we overcame this boss and are now heading up these dilapidated steps. I still really hope that we actually see Shredder here as the final boss of this game because I've dreamed of beating him since I was a kid. I didn't know that you were such a fighter at heart. Well, now I also hope that the final boss will be Shredder because I really want to see how you react to him. Seriously, are we stuck? Oh my god, how could this even happen? Okay, let's restart. This has never happened to us before. I see this bug for the first time. Maybe we should be more careful when we go up this elevator. I think we will definitely learn this lesson. Now let's go through this exciting race with energy drinks. I just love this task. I liked the energy drink run from Barry's Prison Break 2 much better because it had lasers and platforms that allowed us to jump. It was really very interesting. I would like to see this added to the first version of Barry's Prison Escape. Wait, have you already played it? Oh no, don't tell me you played it without us. We agreed to play for me all together. Sorry guys, but I couldn't resist a little because I watched a video on YouTube that had the gameplay of this game and I really liked it. I wanted to go in and watch it just a little, but in the end, I finished it completely and I liked it very much. Oh no! Now you will know what this game looks like. It's very sad because I was hoping that we would play it for the first time all together. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, she only spoiled a small part of this game for us. But as far as I heard, there are a lot of interesting innovations. So we will see them together again. I just can't wait for you all to play this game together. For now, let's focus on continuing to play through this game. I think that there is no point in concentrating too much here because this is the same boring title with valves that I simply hate. Sometimes it seems to me that I would even donate Robux just to skip this task. You dealt with two valves pretty quickly. I think we should stop being angry at this task because it's just part of the game that you just need to complete and move on. Moreover, if this task were not there, it seems to me that this game would be too short. Yes, I completely agree with her. We completed this task in less than a minute. Now we are moving on. There is nothing complicated about it. It just needed to turn the valves, and now we need to run through these pipes in order to run the ventilation and go to the test where there will be a race with fans. The race with the fans is much more interesting than the task with the valves, because every time the developers of this map bring many interesting innovations to this task. Sometimes, though, they make the distance between the platforms too small, due to which this building becomes too light and pointless. And but in this task, the distance between the platforms was quite large, and it was a little difficult for me to complete it, but I dealt with it pretty quickly. Now I need to take a jump in this wind tunnel. You made the jump again on the first try. Great, you did it. Let's see who will be the boss chef in this game. This is Michelangelo. However, it is not surprising that he is here in the role of the chef's boss because he loves to eat more than anyone else. Quickly, grab this gun and let's defeat him as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, after we defeat him, we won't be able to taste the delicious pizza that he can cook for us. I think we can order pizza without his help. For now, let's just concentrate on hitting him right in the head. Only two shots left. Come on, Bluey, great, you beat him. Well, there are only two challenges left before the final boss. I still really hope that it will be Schroeder so that Dad will be happy. If the final boss in this game really turns out to be Shredder, 
Right after we beat this game, we will go and buy everyone ice cream. I promise. Now, I want to see the final boss even more. And this is not because I really want ice cream. Although, no, perhaps for this very reason. Look! They added red glowing frames around the lasers. I wonder if they also cause us damage. But I don't want to check this because I want to quickly get to the final location. Only two lasers left. I would really like to be able to speed up here with the help of some object. But unfortunately, we always fly at the same speed. Great. We got to the task with bridges, and now we will go through it quickly with the help of our life hack. I'm very glad that we came up with this life hack because with it, we don't have to run back and forth across these bridges. Instead, we use just one. Well, now we will see the final boss. Looks like we're going to be without ice cream today because the final boss is Leonardo. Well, that was pretty logical because he was always the leader of the team. And this is the fourth of all the Ninja Turtles that we have not yet seen in this game. I hope Dad is not too upset because I really wanted to see Schroeder here too. Well, anyway, it's really cool that they actually added all four turtles to this game. I'm actually not too upset because it really makes sense that we should have seen all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't worry, I'll still buy you all ice cream. Then I'm also not very upset that we saw him here and we move on to the next game. And here comes Elsa! <gasps> Kristoff is trying very hard to catch up with us, but he won't succeed because we run much faster than him. This time Anna runs out of HP very slow. We will deal with her not so quickly. Maybe it's because it's hard mode? Finally, she's don't stuck in one place and running after us. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will escape from Elsa's prison. We already escaped from it once, but today we will escape from this prison in hard mode. I wonder what's the difference between hard mode and normal mode? Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. I can already see that there are lasers on the way. Look, in addition to lasers, there are also mines. They made this game difficult even at the very beginning. But even with these challenges, the blues are doing pretty well. Look, these platforms are moving. It's very difficult, but she still does it very easily. There are really a lot of difficult challenges in this game. Even these lasers that close the ventilation. I really like playing this game better on hard mode. And here comes Elsa! I can already see that there is a huge laser on top here that will interfere with our progress in this game. It's a good thing they didn't add movement speed for Elsa. Otherwise, she would definitely catch us. Now we need to cross this bridge without the laser hitting us. But just look how professionally she passes this test. I don't think I would have been able to do it the first time. So let's go into this ventilation and see what awaits us in the room with toilets. Did they add a new test even there? It looks like there are no tests in this room. Everything looks exactly the same as in normal mode. Let's now dig a tunnel into Obby's dungeon. There was some kind of lava on the bridge. Well, these platforms look the same as always. And here, the map creators didn't decide to add anything complicated but lava has appeared on the bridge and is gushing straight from this bridge. I think there is nothing difficult in passing this test. It's enough to just wait until the lava stops gushing and we'll move on. Great, we did it! I see that in the next test, they added some spears. It seems to me that this test will be very difficult. The main thing is not to rush too much because these spears come out of the wall very quickly. But Bluey still managed to get through it and we move on. In fact, this game actually feels more hardcore due to the fact that we started playing it on hard mode. There are really a lot of new challenges here, which have made this game more difficult to complete. But in this task with the rolling boulder, I don't feel like they made it any more difficult. Now we will find ourselves in a location where we will need to run away from Boss Kristoff. Interesting. They also complicated it. It looks like this mission looks exactly the same. Okay, let's escape from this guy so that he can't catch us and put us in this prison. Kristoff is trying very hard to catch up with us, but he won't succeed because we run much faster than him. Cool. We got to the tower with dilapidated steps, and now let's go up. It's strange that the developers didn't make climbing this tower any more difficult. They could have added lasers, mines, or something like that. But instead, she remained the same. Well, now we'll go upstairs, start the race with energy drinks, and find out how he was changed.
Here comes the energy drink vending machine. Just look how they changed this location. She's all covered in snow and all in blue. They also added some snow-covered trees here. It looks really very similar to the cartoon Frozen. Yes, I also really like the way they worked on the design of this level. I have never seen a snow theme anywhere in any of the modes in Barry Prison Break. Great. We are almost done with running with energy drinks. And now we need to climb the stairs, and now there will be our least favorite task in this game, namely installing the stairs. I really hope that I will be able to climb this ladder on the first try because this task is really very long. The main thing is to focus on the fact that you will definitely be able to do it. You've already figured out a way by which you can jump straight to the top without any problems. Great! We climbed to the top. Well, now we need to cross this bridge so that we don't get blown away by the fan. By the way, look at this. They replaced all the spikes with icicles. These icicles glow blue so cool. I like it very much. Here in this level, they changed the whole design very cool. They even repainted many of the platforms blue. I really feel like we're in Elsa's world. Now I need to quickly deal with these valves and go upstairs in order to move on to the task with the race with the fans. I wonder how they changed this task. I don't think they made it any more complicated. Seriously? I was right. They actually decided to keep the most boring task in this game the same. Well, okay, let's just get through it and move on to the next task. Maybe they changed them somehow. I really hope that they really changed them because so far this mode is practically no different from easy. Perhaps we will complete it even faster than completing the easy mode. It really annoys me that there really is nothing complicated here. We really wanted Bluey to improve her obby skills, but here we can't do it. They even changed the design of the ventilation. This looks very cool. Wow, just look, there was a downed snow tree. It's good that we didn't crash into it. Otherwise, we would not have been able to go further. They also repainted the platforms blue. Well, this looks really very cool. There is also a snow tree here. Well, this is very cool. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel. The main thing is to press the jump button in time. Great, I managed to do it. Now I need to go through this vent and we will see who will be the next chef boss. It's Anna! Wow, I'm glad to see her again. But it's a shame we won't see Olaf here. Dad loves this character very much and he would really like to see him in this game. Maybe they will meet him the final boss here? I really hope so too. By the way, just look. This time Anna runs out of HP very slow. We will deal with her not so quickly. Maybe it's because it's hard mode? I think so too. Even headshots don't help us kill her fast. Well, let's revolve around it. Cool, we killed her. Actually, I thought it would be a little more difficult. Now let's go down this slide. By the way, it is also decorated in the form of an ice slide. The creators of this map put a lot of work into what they did. Now we need to pass two tests and we will see who will be the final boss in this game. It would be really cool if we could get through this as soon as possible. We're moving fast enough. Yes, we do it pretty quickly, even though it's hard mode. And here is the task with lasers. Too bad they didn't change the color of these lasers to blue again. But I think there is nothing wrong with that. Let's just quickly climb to the very top of this wind tunnel and move on to the final task before the boss fight. Well, we passed this task very easily. Now let's complete the task with bridges as quickly as possible with the help of our new life hack. I think we can complete this task pretty quickly. The main thing is to take one of the bridges and use only one of them. Otherwise, you will have to start completing this task from the very beginning, and we will lose a lot of time on this. Great! We managed to do it all quite easily. All that remains is to enter the location with the final boss. And here comes the final boss, Elsa Robot. Finally, she's don't stuck in one place and running after us. Oh my god, I like it so much. Well, okay, let's defeat this boss very quickly. It will be very easy because she doesn't even shoot. Oops, looks like I was wrong. Well, she only shot with one hand and there is no way she can hit us because we are maintaining a safe distance. It was very easy. I really like this game because the design of the locations is very well done and everything is very cool. Now let's move on to the next game.